With 12 games remaining in the season, we are officially on the push towards the playoffs. It's game number 71, and when you are on the push to the playoffs, ultimately it comes down for Boston, as always, to the road trip through the great state of... California. That joke's going to get old after a while, if it hasn't already. So Bruins entered this game officially trailing Florida for first place as earlier in the day the Florida Panthers beat the uh, beat your favorite team in the Habs uh, by a score of 4-1. to one. And even in defeat, the Montreal Canadiens still figure out a way to fuck the Bruins over. It's just how they are. Anyway, it's going to be an interesting matchup tonight. As Boston, a great road team. As is San Jose. Neither one of these two teams all that good at home lately, as the records would show. But both teams getting a little bit better. Um, but we'll see how things go. This is the Bruins Recap Show, and we are heading towards the playoffs. So we start things off in the first period. Your goaltending matchup. Tuka Rask, as always, for the Boston Bruins. And on the other end, old familiar face from Toronto, James Rebound Reimer. And San Jose will start off the goal uh, scoring early as a great pass by the natural Logan Couture as uh, a bit of a miscommunication here by Dennis Seidenberg as he goes after Couture as well, leaving Melker Carlson wide open in front of the net. 1-0, a German-sized blunder from Dennis Seidenberg on defense leads to a goal early for the Sharks. Moving on, David Pasternak will get the puck. He'll run it down, take a shot, and rebound Reimer in full effect as he rebounds the puck directly to the stick of David Krejci, who buries the finish, tying the game up on a beautiful goal for David Krejci. And the line of Krejci... Pasternak and Erickson for a good majority of this game was probably the best offensive weapon the Bruins had going. But we'll get to that a little bit later and a little bit later indeed. It's Louis Erickson on the shorthand as David Krejci with the steal on the backhand finds a streaking Louis Erickson who pretty much gets a breakaway shot. And that is a 2-1 game for Boston in a $30 million power play giving up a shorthanded opportunity. In fact, they gave up multiple shorthanded opportunities for Boston. And also, as of note, this is the ninth shorty for the Bruins. They are tied third in the NHL on shorthanded goals. Also, for those people who wanted to trade one, Louis Erickson, this is five points in his last three games, including three goals and two assists, and two of them against big-name playoff contenders like the Islanders of New York, and the San Jose Sharks. But after the goal, we get a terrible penalty call here. It's like the refs need to make sure that people knew they were still involved in the game. As David Krejci takes a shot and rebound Reimer has the puck loose in his pads. Doesn't really have it covered. David Krejci doing what you're supposed to do. Play to the whistle. He gets a slashing call for whacking the pads that potentially don't have the puck underneath them. Oh, shit. What a, t t just a garbage call. Just blow the whistle. Give the guy a talking to. Say, hey, he had it covered up. Our mistake, whatever. Move on. Don't give him two minutes. It's a stupid fucking thing. So we move on to the second period. And Brad Marchand and the Bruins streak, trying to streak down with transition. But the puck doesn't settle for Marchand. It's a turnover. And San Jose is coming the other way. And the puck will get to Brett Burns. He's good. Who <laughs> will take a shot, and it's some bearded magic as it bounces off Spooner's stick. Beats Tuka Rask as he doesn't know which way it was going to go. 2-2 Two -two tie. Brett Burns with some glorious bearded magic. The guy's got the best beard in the NHL right now. Uh, as, as usual, the second period's a problem for Boston here. Uh, they need to get better going into the third if they want to take points out of this game. And it's more bearded magic from Brett Burns on the power play in the third period as he takes the puck, streaks it down underneath the set, underneath the faceoff dot, finds Yoel Ward in there, and he's going to put it in. But wait, it's a deflection by Donskoy. Uh, Donskoy? 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 I don't know. 
Can't pronounce it. He gets the tip in on the power play goal and beats Tuka Rask clean there. Maybe a little interference. Can't tell. You never know. Did, Bruins didn't want to waste the challenge, waste their timeouts. Anyway, that is the final goal of the game. The game winner indeed. But Boston did have their chances at the end of this game, including a point blank from Tory Krug at the very end, and an even better chance from David Krejci, who undressed, just undressed James Reimer and couldn't put it past the post, which is aggravating, my friends. You have to put that in the back of the net at that point in the hockey game, especially when you just deke a goaltender's jockstrap into the ceiling. But... The California road trip will continue as Thursday night they take on the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. In fact, let's take a look at the remaining schedule for the Boston Bruins as there's 11 games left, 22 possible points. They go up against Anaheim, a playoff team. The Los Angeles Kings, a playoff team. The New York Rangers, playoff team. Florida, playoff team. Toronto, New Jersey. St. Louis, playoff team. Chicago, playoff team. Carolina, Detroit's in the mix, and Ottawa. That's your last 11 games. 7 out of 11 projected playoff teams. That's including Detroit. It's like going to be a tough, tough one for the Boston Bruins. They need to take some points out of those games. They need to find wins. And they, if they do that, they will make the playoffs. But it's not going to be easy. We'll find out how they're going to do. As we're on the road to the playoffs on the Bruins Recap Show.